Hey guys, I'm the Disc Golf Teacher. Welcome to the first installment of my 12-step series on how to throw max distance consistently. All right, step one in this 12-step series is that slow is far. All right, you've heard Danny Lindahl say before that- We're slow is smooth and smooth is far. Same idea, slow is far. We're just taking out the middle step there. And anyway, to kind of prove this point, I have two wraiths, two destroyers, and two graces that I'm gonna throw one of each um, kind of from my disc over here. The first one, I'm gonna take a nice, slow, smooth run up and just kind of launch into the soccer field behind me. And then the second one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a lot faster into this disc and uh, kind of let her rip. And we're gonna see which one actually goes the furthest. Is it the slow, smooth run up or kind of the fast, not out of control necessarily, but just the faster, longer run up. So let's check it out. All right, before I throw this first shot here, what I'm gonna do is kind of walk through this no pun intended, but what you are going to do is you're almost going to walk up to your disc, kind of um, in line here, just sort of do, do the motion. I'm just going to walk through this. And then when you get here, you really want to explode into your shot. All right, so that's where everything kind of happens. What this does is this walk through, instead of a, a real fast run up, what it does for you is it really helps with your timing, okay? Because it is so much easier to be consistent with your timing when you're nice and smooth with a run up like that, as opposed to, you know, you're back here and all of a sudden, bah, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> then you throw it, okay? So let's try it. Let's see if that actually is true or not. Uh, start off with just a race. Okay, nice, smooth run up. And throw it into the soccer field behind me. Not fast at all. And then explode in the last second. next disc we have is another wraith this time i'm going to kind of go full sprint into my disc we're going to see if it actually goes further or not so let's try this again not out of control but just way faster of a run up let's see what happens yeah that was definitely well short of where that other one was i'll get some distances on the screen here for you but um, I'll, I'll go back and measure those with a range finder. Okay, let's move to onto some destroyers. Again, first destroyer, nice smooth run up. All right, these are both star destroyers, so should be the same thing, both max weight. Again, nice, smooth, slow run up. Explode last second. You might have to tell yourself that as you do this. Explode. Oh yeah, look how just like consistently smooth that came out of. Went right up there into that tall grass, past the field. That's great, okay? Versus another destroyer, this time I'm gonna unleash. This is actually my furthest flying, one of my further flying discs, so we'll see, maybe it does go further here. But I'm gonna really run into this one now, and I don't think it will go as far. I don't know. Those ones are actually pretty close. I will say I didn't probably run into that one as hard as the last one uh, with that wraith. So I'll go and measure it for you. All right, now I have a couple of graces. Uh, let's do this one for the slow run up. Again, if one of those goes further, that's fine. One of the faster run ups, but it's what you can do consistently over time. Okay, so a nice slow, smooth run up here. Let's see if we can get this one to bomb. Explode at the last second. Smooth, 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 explode. Yeah. Oh, that is crushed. Nice, again into that tall grass, perfect. Okay, versus another one. I'm gonna go kind of full sprint into the disc. All right, that one got a full flight out of it. That one might have been further, but um, to kind of prove my point, it just felt so much more natural using the only part of the T-pad you probably have. You don't want to be James Conrad taking, you know, two and a half T-pads worth of distance up. So let me go get those measurements and I'll be right back for you. All right, made it back to the side of the field and kind of like I predicted, both the Wraith and the Destroyer went further on those drives where I had the slower run up as opposed to the faster, a little bit out of control run up. 
The Grace, however, this one where I did run up a little bit faster, it did go further. But when you're out there on the course, think about this for a second. Uh, if it's only like one out of three times where that faster run up does get you further distance, I'd probably take the two out of three times where I'm more likely to be smooth and probably more accurate um, to get as much distance as possible. And like I said, more accurate off the tee. So take that into consideration. So now it's up to you guys to go out there to a field and try this tip on your own. Uh, but first off, do this for me. Please like this video if you thought it was helpful. It really helps me out down below. And this video will spread to more people that way as well. Second thing is right here, I will put my second tip uh, when it comes out. But until then, here's another distance tip that you might find helpful. And until next time, we'll see you out there on the course.